So to summarize our discussion of recommended systems, uh, in some sense, the filtering task or recommended task uh, is easy, and uh, in some other senses, and the task is actually difficult. So it's easy because the user's expectation is low. In this case, the system takes initiative to push the information to the user. So the user doesn't really make any effort. So any recommendation is better than nothing, right? So, well, unless you recommend all the you know, uh, noisy uh, items or uh, useless documents. If you can recommend uh, some useful information, users generally would appreciate it. Right? So that's in that sense, that's easy. However, filtering is actually a much harder task than retrieval because it has, you have to make a binary decision and you can't afford waiting for a lot of items and then you're going to see whether one item is better than others. You have to make a decision when you see this uh, item. The thing about the news filtering, as soon as you see the news and you have to decide whether the news would be interesting to a user. If you wait for a few days, well, even if you can make accurate uh, recommendation of the most relevant news, the utility is going to be uh, significantly decreased. Uh, another reason why it's hard is because of data sparseness. Um, if you think of this as a learning problem in collaborative filtering, for example, it's purely based on learning from the past uh, uh, ratings. So if you don't have many ratings, there's really not that much you can do, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I just mentioned this uh, cold start problem. This is actually a very serious, serious problem. But of course, uh, there are strategies that uh, have been proposed to solve the problem. And there, there are different strategies that you can use to alleviate the problem. You can use, for example, more user information to assess their similarity instead of using the preferences uh, of these users on these items. There may be additional information available about the user, etc. And, and uh, we also talk about the two strategies for filtering. Um, Task. One is content-based, where we look at item similarity. The other is collaborative filtering, where we look at uh, um, user similarity. And they obviously can be combined. In a practical system, you can imagine they generally would have to be combined. So that will give us a hybrid strategy for uh, filtering. And uh, um, we also uh, could uh, recall that we talked about push versus pull as two strategies for getting access to the text data. And recommended system is to help uh, users in the push mode. And search engines are you know, serving users in the pull mode. Obviously, the two should be combined, and they can be combined to uh, have a system that can support a user with multiple mode information access. So in the future, we could anticipate such a system to be more useful to a user. And either, uh, this is an active research area. Uh, so there are a lot of new algorithms be, um, being proposed uh, all the time. In particular, those new algorithms tend to use a lot of context information. Now the context here could be the context of the user, but it could be also context of documents or items. The items are not isolated and they are connected in many ways. Um, the users might form social network as well. So there's a rich context there that we can leverage in order to uh, really uh, solve the problem well. And then that's an active research area where also uh, machine learning algorithms have been uh, applied. Here are some uh, additional readings in the handbook called uh, Recommended Systems and has a collection of a lot of uh, good uh, articles that uh, can give you an overview of a, a number of uh, specific uh, approaches to uh, recommended systems. Mm -hmm.